Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this equation here. 2x minus 3 equals 17. Let's, let's take a look at it. So we got 2x minus 3 equals 17. So the objective is, is to get x by itself. That's what it means to solve an equation. So we'll, you know, the final part of doing this problem, we're going to get x equals, and it's some number on the right-hand side. Okay? So that's, the, that's what it means to solve an equation, is you're looking for the value of x that makes the equation true. So in this case, in this particular equation, what we want to do first is we want to get rid of this negative 3 next to that 2x. Okay, and to do that, all I have to do is add a 3 onto the negative 3, because negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so it kind of gets, gets rid of that negative 3, if you will. But when you're solving equations, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. So what did I do here? I added a 3 on the left-hand side, so I have to add a 3 on the right-hand side. Okay, so you want to do these steps exactly like I'm doing them here. All right, so next, once you've done that, you want to add down in a column manner. Okay, so I always like to draw it like this, or you don't, you don't draw it. You know, I wouldn't suggest drawing it on your paper. There's no, um, you know, there's no need to do that. But I'm just drawing this to kind of reinforce what I want to get across to you. Is you're going to be adding down in a column format. So this is going to be 2x plus nothing, right? Because there's nothing under the 2x is just going to be 2x, right? 2x plus nothing is 2x. So I'll write that right here. And then negative 3 plus 3, or minus 3 uh, plus a positive 3, is 0. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to get rid of that negative 3 on the left-hand side. So we don't have to write anything there because it's 0. Okay, I'll put my equal sign. And then 17 plus 3 is 20. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken this equation here, and essentially we just rewrote it in a different way. Okay, in an easier way to solve. So if I gave you the choice to solve 2x minus 3 equals 17 or 2x equals 20, you'd probably say, hey, I'd like to solve this equation. Okay, and both of these equations are equivalent. Okay, and that's the thing when you're solving equations is you're essentially rewriting equations in an easier and easier and easier um, uh, format, but they're the same equation. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. So we've got 2x equals 20, and remember, the objective here is to get x by itself. So to do that, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. Um, well, let me just go ahead and just write that, okay? So we're dividing both sides of the equation by 2, but why? Okay, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, okay? And 1x is, the way we write 1x is simply x. So we, we have the left-hand side exactly how we want it. But remember, because I divided by... Uh, the left-hand side of the equation by 2, I also have to divide the right-hand side of the equation by 2. And that's the thing to keep in mind. Whatever you do to one side of an equation when you're solving it, you have to do to, uh, to the other side. So we get 20 divided by 2 is 10, and that is your solution. Okay, so if you need more help with algebra or mathematics in general, come on over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Free resource. We've got a ton more videos like this and just a lot of great, uh, great stuff to help you out learning uh, mathematics. Have a great day.